integrity. And uh, basically what happened with Aftermath and that whole album, because you know what I'm saying, like, you knew that you could be super relevant, make mad loot by being on Aftermath Records, and yet you chose not to. I'm wondering what the reason is, because a lot of stuff I hear coming out with Aftermath, although it you know, makes money, it seems like it's a formula centered around violence. And I was wondering if that was part of the reason that you tried not to go with that. Dre, like you said, it is a formula over there. You know, Dre got his his his, his uh, ingredient, and he don't like messing it up. And I can understand that. Because, you know, as a producer or as an artist, you gotta stick to what made you do. You know what I mean? And that's what Dre is doing. And you know, I, I can tell, I can tell. You know, me and Dre, as far as my style and his style, I wouldn't have been able to be. You know, I would have to. You know, almost you know, playing both sides of the fence, man. But, you know, it didn't work out, you know what I mean? But hopefully in the future we're going to do something together. Is that how it works, though, in the industry? Like, record labels will actually tell you, you know, I don't want you to put out this song, I'd rather you make it this way? Or is it not that nah, direct? Nah, what it is is, you know, with me and Trey, we was trying to, you know, sit down in the studio and come up with a, with a, with a project, not just, you know, do records. So we would sit down and we would, you know, talk about, you know, the record that we was trying to make or if you play the beat, we would sit there and try to see what the beat was yeah. calling for, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, respect to my dude, but, you know, Dre wanted me to bring the guns back out and get real <laughs> ugly, you know what I mean? But, you know, I don't think the world wants that for Rock Kim at this point, kind of, you know, been there. But, um, you know, like I said, hopefully, you know what I mean, in the future, Something and get a roll of taste on how it you know, would have popped off. I hope if anything, by me doing what I did, I hope, you know, if anything, somebody learned something from that, you know what I mean? Like you said, if I would have got with Dre, you know, it, it would have been crazy, you know what I mean? Or, you know, a lot of paper, you know, a lot of, but at the same time, when I, when I, when I turn my back from Dre, I want to still be me, you know what I mean? Yeah. When I finish on Aftermath and, and, and walk back home, I want to still be me, and that's what it is. You know, the young artists that's coming out, you know, a lot of a lot of producers or, you know, a lot of record labels might try to, you know, detour your, you know, your, your creative process. Try to stick to your guns, man. And if you, you know, stay focused and they understand what you're trying to do. I work at a radio station in Boston and we were playing After You Die a lot. Your version. Then we heard it come out on the bu on the Buster Rhymes album, and it was like, "What? We've been banging that for like six months." So how can that even happen? You did the song first, and then they use the same. Yeah, what it is is, you know, Dre. Dre got his live berry. Yeah, you know I mean, and you know, cause like like the, uh, on the Fifty album, I had the. Uh, the gunshot, the, rec, the, the track with the gunshots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I had that before 50, and I heard uh, a kid named Hitman had that before me. Hitman, R.I.P. Yeah, you know what I mean? But what it is, though, is, you know, Dre got his library. If he got something in his library that he feels a hit, then he's going to give it to the, you know, keep giving it to MCs until, you know, they do what he thought it was supposed to be done on it or until it comes out the way he wanted it. Now you perf you perfected the art of you know rapping about hip hop, but also saying something else within your lyrics. Do you feel that in 2007 rappers have taken it too far? Yeah, I think I think you know what I mean. It's you know what 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 goes on in the hood goes on in the hood. But I think as an artist like myself, I don't want to do 15 records talking about you know bad things that go on in the hood. I think, you know, if, if, if we put a little more, you know, mix it up and put a little yeah, more I'll, change I'll, I'll in the game, it. you know what I mean? I think um people would knock on us so bad when we do do a ghetto misery song. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think if we can mix it up, man, and put a little, you know, a little change in there, man, you know, like I said, we wouldn't get knocked on for that. But it, it, it is in a crazy place, man, where you know, the lyrical content is getting a lot of points taken away from a lot of good artists, man. So, you know, let's get back to, you know, making 
hip hop, man. You know, fun, fun music. Let's no, let, let, let's not forget that hip hop is like the main core of the reason we rap, the reason we DJ, the, we, the reason we make beats, the reason we dance. Ask yourself if I pass tonight, am I prepared for what's after life? After you die.